and today we're going to try to solve quadratic equation e x squared plus b x plus c of zero with Mathematica. So, uh, since Mathematica is a function of lines, we have to think in terms uh, of the function. So, we have uh, the three coefficients of the quadratic equation a, a, the quadratic coefficient, b, the Riemann coefficient, and c, the constant of all three terms. And we have to think of these uh, three coefficients as the three parameters of our function. All right. Obviously, one very important uh, number is the discriminant of the quadratic equation. It determines the number and nature of the roots. If it's positive, we have two distinct roots with both of which are real numbers. If it's zero, we have one real root or double root. And if it's negative, we have two complex roots. Very complex, very com conjugate. So, if we give the solution in terms of these two parameters, let's try and uh, write our function. Compound function, first I'm going to evaluate the discriminant. Alright, now I'm going to give a solution in terms of a list. This is our function. Okay, so I'm going to try this with various numbers. Um, let's say, um, let's try this with uh, a equals one, b equals minus three, c equals minus four, let's return to solve the quadratic equation x squared minus three x minus four equals zero. So what I'm going to do is type quad and to replace now parameters with the actual arguments one minus three minus four like so let's evaluate the discriminant so all right so since the discriminant is positive I'm expecting two uh, real roots okay it's minus one and four okay but uh, there might be a problem with uh, this definition of function. Uh, what is the problem? The problem is that if we have, if we already had a finite symbol named d, then its value will be lost once quad is called. Okay, let's see this. For example, let's say d equals 90. Again, our function. Try to evaluate it. Same coefficients. And d. So, all right, as you can see, we got the uh, Roots, two real numbers, and uh, d is equals equals to five. That is, this value is lost forever. How can we circumvent this problem? There is an easy way. Avoid this, we will make d local to the quad function. And this can be done by closing the body of the function inside a module. Okay. So I can write the function now. It's a bit differently. Let's say d equals 85, for example. 
plot mean and parameters. But now I'm enclosing the body of the function inside a module. All right, I'm making the local variable. And again, the solution in terms of a list. All right. I'm Closing the square brackets. So let's see. What? One, minus three, minus four. I'm asking again for D. So as you can see, now the value which I gave to D before is not less. It's not less. I have 87. All right. That's it. Of course, uh, if we want, we can specify multiple local symbols. Mm, for example, I can make uh, array a local symbol. Open. Uh, okay. And the definition. A right no instead of two A I can have A all right as you can see no problem again so now we can try and plot uh, action the corresponding uh, quadratic action All right, very easy. Again, a function, but now we have four parameters. X is going to vary also in order to make a plot. And maybe this is um, it's better to write as a text to make it better style text all right okay so this is the quadratic function and uh, mm -hmm. all right two x plus all right so Try and plot it. All right. Uh, a equals one. B minus three. C minus four. X now varies. And uh, let's try and make it go from minus ten to ten. All right. Now uh, it's better. Okay, let's try and plot this. See what happens. All right, in order to see that uh, these roots are actually these, uh, these values, where if x intersects uh, the c-axis, a good trick is this. Uh, you can put values to the axis, right? Very easy way to do this. That this should be values to the x axis, and now let's give values to the uh, sorry, let's give values to the y axis. Uh, 
So mixing table. Square bracket with this this square bracket. Ah, sorry. Let's let's to right tables no not the right uh, new tables all right and it's going to be a simple mixing problem Now, as you can see, here are my two roots, minus one and four. So I can verify it. I can, we can verify our solution by plotting the faction. Okay, the faction intersects the x-axis, okay, minus one and four. So, that's all folks. Thanks for watching this video. See you soon.